All right, welcome back to Hot Chick Homestead. Here's the deal, guys. I, uh, for my subscribers, you know I don't post too frequently. Uh, if you're new and you want to see where we started and where we are now, you're going to have to start over and uh, watch the videos from the very first water purification video from the cook that we got in the back of our property. But I will catch everybody else up that has been subscribed today. Well, until, you know, recently. Here's the deal. So, for those of you that remember, this had two chicken tractors in it. And we moved them. And so what we did is, is um, we took down our wire fence. You can see the electric fight fence we took down. Okay. And today I got out here and I put some chicken wire up around our garden area for this year for the front of the, the property. And it's nothing fancy. I had all this stuff laying around. Um, had some extra plastic posts from... Uh, the old electric fence and I used some some t-posts that we had laying around just to keep rabbits and, and raccoons out now this isn't to keep anything you know humongous out wild hog will come through here if, if he wants to and and tear this all up but so here we go all right that is our cabbage and simple to plant we Full disclosure, we, we started, we, we got them as starts this year. Um, we just didn't have time to start from seed, but at least the cabbage. So, you can see what we did is we used the same dirt that we had here last year. Um, to put a little bit of new dirt in and mix that with some of the chicken poop. And so the cabbage is just about done. Um, and this year we're not going to sell this cabbage. We're going to can it up and we're gonna make some cabbage stew out of it uh, some sauerkraut uh, those, those kind of things are getting expensive now and so we want to make sure that we have enough to first and foremost be self-sufficient enough that we don't have to worry about buying cabbage or lettuce okay so over here we've got arugula growing in little pots and we'll you know clip that back or whatever we'll eat that fresh uh, green beans watermelons mint we got some green beans in here. This bed is not really all that great. Um, we just use it because this happens to be a low spot on the property. And so we're going to see if, if, you know, we can get at least a few green beans out of this. Uh, we really don't expect much just because that is more sandy dirt. And uh, so that's, that's that. Um, now walking this way. You can see here where we had the smaller chicken tractor and I'll, I'll go down a little bit here and show you. Down in here, I've planted tomatoes, okay? So this tomato patch is going to be for my wife to make uh, tomato sauce, tomato paste, that kind of thing. Can that up for us. Now over here, these are tomatoes we're actually going to sell. Okay, they haven't started yet. The seeds are in the ground, but you can see these these plastic posts. I'm going to take leftover electric wire, and I'm going to string from these posts, post to post. That way, the tomatoes will grow on that homemade trellis. Again, you know, if, if you look, this is all stuff that we just had laying around. Um, things that we we need it to do, we just haven't had time. And, and I'll explain that in a while and why we haven't posted too much. Um, but I wanna show you some other stuff that we've done, okay? So here's the back of the property now, okay? This is, you know, property goes further back. Um, but if you remember in my previous videos, I was telling you that eventually all of this back area was gonna be fenced in. We finally decided what to do. And so what we did is we fenced two portions off. And this is our electric, you know, charger. I'm going to turn it off so I can just climb over the fence. I don't want to get bit by the wire. So because that's off now and that should be safe to, to touch. If it's not, you'll hear me say, ow, and, and that'll be that. So, all right. So I'm over that now. So we extended our dogs, like we said. 
And instead of going that way with the dogs, we went further that way. All right, so this is their area. And this, again, will all be extended again eventually. Um, here's a gate to get into the area that we're working now. And I'm going to just kind of hook this here like like so fencing on so it don't you know so we'll just walk this perimeter real quick so this is where we come in through the back door or out the back door of the house this is our gate and the wire goes this way okay you just walk this way and you know now guys I want to tell you something with this this thinner wire that we have okay one little thing like this plant because that wire is so thin you constantly have to check where your weeds are at and what what is growing there because obviously it it short it, it does short it out i mean you still get a little bit of a charge out of it but it it doesn't do enough so you just have to weed it constantly uh, eventually i'm hoping to get thicker wire but right now this will do because this wire um the wire that you're seeing now is brand new and we paid $39 for it, 1,300 square feet. Whereas if I got the thicker wire this time, it would have costed me $60 for 668 square feet. So you can see it's a money maker. You just, you, you have to, the, the maintenance on it is ridiculous. So that's, you know, that's, that's, that's just part of it. Now, I want to take note of this right here. Look down here. Okay, you see in there? It's burning a tree stump out there, okay? That way we can put other stuff out here. So again, this is the back of the back of the uh, chicken tractor. We come around, okay? And eventually you end up back to where we started. But what I wanted to show you is, is guys, okay? This year's garden is not very big because it's always a work in progress, okay? Uh, right here, we, we got watermelon growing, but the sprouts are too small to see right now. And so, when they get bigger, I'll come out here and film, show you the vines, and we're gonna have to direct them which way we want them to go, okay? So that's just our watermelon patch there. Well, here's, here's, here's a little sprout right here. A little, little watermelon sprout right there. Okay, so there's about nine or ten watermelon plants in there. We don't expect all of them to sprout. Here's our green beans, and these are bush beans, so they don't need a trellis to grow on. They just, you know, grow. And then, I don't know if you can see that there. This. That's lettuce. Okay, and so what we did here is we dug a trench underneath this. And we backfilled that trench with leaves, sticks, and cardboard. And then we filled it with the dirt that we took out of the ground to make this little, you know, sloping type bed. So moving on, and over here we, we've got we've got more green beans and, and we do have some tomatoes growing down there from seed, but uh, we're gonna have to plant a buffer because you know tomatoes are finicky and they will die on you um so this is a tomato plant that i bought as a start and is doing really well um simple trick on your tomatoes when you're growing them okay when you put them in the ground whether you start from um seed or you you buy the starts what you want to do is, is dig your hole and put put your seed or your start in it Okay, and then put two Tums, two Tums tablets down in there with it. Okay, water it, and then after about a week, you want to put some Epsom salt around the base once the plant is good and strong, and that helps the plant. It it helps get the tomatoes going, and and just it makes for a healthier plants really. Okay, so and here we have we have okra, okay, growing, and that's. This work here was done all by those those chickens in there. So that's how we're doing our garden. We're letting the chickens pull mainly the rough stuff out. And then we're going to go back and plant there. Okay, so that is the small chicken coop where we moved it. Well, tractor really. And then this is our big tractor. And 
I believe by tomorrow afternoon or sometime within the coming days, they need to be shifted over and moved. So we're going to move them this way, okay, to start pulling the weeds and the stuff out of the ground. Let them work for you. Um, keep in mind, again, most things that we use out here to do this stuff, we already have, okay? Either prior, prior purchased, used, whatever, okay? So, like, if you have a piece of PVC pipe, think about what you can do with that piece of PVC pipe because... If your operating costs exceed, you know, what you're doing, then what's the point? Because all this is, you know, when you're doing something like this, the idea is to be as self-sufficient as possible. Sometimes you have to buy things. You can't get away around that. But, you know, just because you buy one thing doesn't mean that you can't use it for another later when you're done using it. So keep that in mind. Keep in mind your operating cost. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it, 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 it's all easy to begin, okay? It's not. It's actually pretty hard because in the beginning, your operating cost is up there. Because if you start with nothing, then you have to get it all. And if you have to get it all, then your operating cost goes through the roof. So that's that. Um, Again, if you're new, welcome to the channel. If not, and you've been around for a while, you know what's going on now. Now, the other thing that I want to I want to talk to you all about is that um, the reason that we haven't filmed too much is um, my subscribers will see that uh, that my wife and I we we took the plunge, and uh, highly recommend taking the plunge. Uh, into knowing Jesus Christ. Um, and this is the last time I'm going to touch on this because I know some people don't believe and that's fine. You can believe what you want. It's my job as a Christian to tell you that everything you do, He knows. Everything that you're going through, He knows. And if you reach out and you grab Him and ask Him to heal you, and ask him into your life. You will be a happier person. And it's, it, it does take work. It takes a lot of work. To study his word. To understand his word. And to live his word the best way that you can. Um, Easter just passed. Three days in the tomb. He rose again. And he's coming back. So... I encourage you to pick your Bible up, get a Bible, talk to a pastor, talk to somebody who knows about Jesus Christ. Let them tell you, let them teach you, get to know him. Your life will be better. Perfect? No. Will you have problems? Yes. But those problems seem far and few in between and you will always be blessed as long as you accept him as your savior. That's it guys. Um, that's it for this video, and uh, it's going to be a while because we've got other commitments coming up, so, you know, just just keep keep an eye out. It'll probably be two, three, maybe even, you know, more than a month before I post again because this week we've got revival at church, then the market starts, doctor's appointments, and this, that, and the other. We're busy, and I like to post things that I've done in bulk. So, I appreciate you guys subscribing. I appreciate if you would like the video and tell your friends. But more importantly, tell your friends about Jesus Christ. Alright guys, until next time, signing off.